So I've just done my first run in this Lululemon Blissfield 2, which is Lululemon's second running shoe. Um, it came out on the 7th of March and I've just done like a really easy four mile run in it. This is the updated version of the Blissfield, which was Lululemon's first ever running shoe. It's still designed for women's feet. I don't think there's a men's version yet. I don't know if there will be this year. Um, definitely a women's shoe. The Lululemon, when they released the Blissfield, said they'd done loads of scans of women's feet and that's kind of, they designed the whole shoe around a women's, women's feet. Um, it, looks very similar but they have made some quite drastic changes to the upper of the shoe which looks very different it's a new upper for maximum support and comfort um, it's a seamless frame they said that kind of runs around the foot and again lululemon haven't been that they haven't said a lot about the midsole foam i would say the midsole foam feels very very similar they said it's tuned foam cushioning it's not ov overly plush but we'll get into that um, but yeah, it's out on the 7th of March and it's £138 or $148, but I'll get into everything now. So fit-wise, I found this fit a lot better than the Blissfeel 1, but I've just realised when putting the Blissfeel 1 back on to shoot for this video, I, I'm a UK 5 normally, I'm a UK 4 and a half in like a normal everyday trainer in the blissful one i was wearing a uk five and a half a us seven this is a us seven and a half and a uk six so i've actually gone up a whole you know a whole size from my normal size and i think it fits really well so i would be interested to try it in a five and a half but I would, again, this, the upper, it definitely fits a lot better. I struggled with the fit of the Bliss Feel. I found it came up really small and quite tight. Um, but obviously I have gone up another half size, so it's a bit of an unfair comparison. But I would say definitely still go up at least half a size in your everyday running shoe um, because it does come up small. But fit wise, I much preferred this upper. It's a lot softer and it kind of, it just, it's not as restrictive across the foot. The laces have changed, they're kind of thicker laces. The laces on the Blissfield one were always quite small and came undone a bit. And the tongue is still, it's tongue still nice, it kind of sits flat against the foot. I didn't have any problems with rubbing or chafing. Um, so fit wise, this one fits a lot better than Blissfield one, but I would still say it comes up small and it's worth sizing up. So the run test, I've gone out today and done really, really easy miles. I've got a long run coming up this weekend. I had more of a tempo session on the plan, but I just didn't feel up to it today. Um, so I enjoyed this for easy miles. When I first put it on, I've been testing the Ultra Boost this week and I've been testing the Invincible before that. Um, so it definitely feels a lot firmer. Lululemon, again, haven't said a lot about this foam, but it's definitely a firm foam. There's not an awful lot of it. I'd exp I'd kind of compare it more to like a peg that kind of like maybe not even a peg a peg's got more cushioning but it's definitely a firmer foam and there's not like an awful lot of foam you're not going to sink into this shoe it's not going to be super like springy or bouncy but that's not a bad thing this is an everyday shoe and I definitely enjoyed it like I did the four miles in it I much preferred the underfoot experience to the Blissfield one it doesn't feel like the foam's changed but I think the fit of the shoe feels a bit different um, it's definitely still a kind of firmer everyday running shoe but I think Lululemon have designed a shoe you can wear for a run and wear you know to the gym and wear casually around the office you're probably not going to want to do a marathon in this shoe or even a half in this shoe but I think for a kind of everyday casual running it kind of ticks a box um, and I obviously will be doing more miles in it going forward. So my verdict, I mean, so far, so good. Um, I think, I definitely think this one fits better. I think that could be because I've gone up a whole size, not half a size. Um, I still think it's quite a flat shoe. I'm quite a stompy runner. We all know I love a max cushion shoe and I'm not sure this would be the shoe I would pick. I remember I did a 5K race in the Blissfield and I was like, never doing that again. It's definitely a kind of, a shoe I'd probably wear for running on the treadmill you know when you've got that like extra b bounce and extra cushioning from the treadmill um, it's kind of it, it does fit nicely I think I think it's a nice everyday shoe do I think 
you're going to get as much of it out of this than say the peg probably not um but i'm going to do more miles in it i'm going to try and wear it on a tempo session and i'll see but so far so good